say this once, okay? I think most of people here have taken Freedom 5.0, okay? If you graduate and tell the outside world that Java is JavaScript or JavaScript is Java, I will find ways to fail both Freedom 5.0 and 4140 for you. I will find ways to fail both courses for you. So that you make sure that you cannot graduate. Okay? Yeah. Fail 4140, you still graduate, right? Fail Freedom 5.0 is not, okay? Yeah. Don't tell the others. I remember there's a Facebook capture. Who are you? Is it should be should be Jack or yeah, post a, post a uh, photo, okay? This is about a job advertisement. It's uh, saying that JavaScript is a uh, scripting job or something like that, okay? Yeah, no, okay? I also remember one case. It's not, that guy is not interview, interviewed by me, okay? That guy is supposed to be a non Drupal student. We have to interview a non Drupal student. And the one who delivered the message to me is a CE lecturer, okay? So you guess who, okay? The CE lecturer tell me, uh, that lecturer asked the interviewee that, well, what is the language that you know? I know Java and JavaScript. And then that guy starts to explain what is the difference between Java and JavaScript. Uh, Java is a uh, harder language. JavaScript is a subset of Java. <laughs> <laughs> then that guy cannot enter CHK. Okay? We give him a big course. Don't enter. Okay, yeah, you you can avoid not explain. Then maybe you are, you can you can go to CUHK and continue to study. Okay, and not master is an undergraduate uh, non two person interview. Okay, we KO take him out. Okay, yeah, remember they are totally different, totally different. Okay. If you know Java, then you definitely don't know JavaScript. If you know JavaScript, then you definitely don't know Java. Okay, uh, I, I don't know both. <laughs> yeah, I know something about Java. I know something about JavaScript, okay? I, I cannot understand the full picture of JavaScript now because with the emerging ESX6, I, 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 my, my brain is doing heavily damaged, okay? Yeah, very horrible with ESX6. I, I, horrible in the sense that it's just a mind blowing, I would say. Okay, so these two guys, why they are related? It's just because there's a bad guy called Sun Microsystem. Okay? The Sun Microsystem is a bad guy, okay? They they start Java, okay? By the time that I was I was still a secondary school student. Okay? And by that time people think that Java is the superstar. Now it's a dead star. Dead. Okay? Dead star. Okay. You anybody still write Java except Android? Uh, yeah, forced to do it. Okay, I don't know why Google Google people love Java. Okay, uh, we have more alternatives like Python, uh, Ruby though. Okay, like Python is a very very good replacement for Java for my, for my point of view. Okay, uh, sometimes we can avoid. Okay, but some ecosystem think that that was a superstar with the tomorrow's C. Okay, yeah. And then no, okay. So they try to name everything with Java, okay. And Netscape also think the same thing, okay. So Netscape is the first browser you know, okay. And they have this first scripting language over the <coughs> browser start with the name LiveScript, okay. So that's why I heard of LiveScript because I was a secondary school student. What I know is to copy, okay. I copy the script so that ah uh, yeah the. Uh, the uh, cursor will work, uh, will move by itself, okay, during my time, okay. Now, they work together and call them some JavaScript, okay. So the JavaScript, just like a trademark, the standard is not JavaScript, okay. The standard is called, I always spell it wrong, okay. Yeah, ECML, ECAM, I always spell it wrong. EC. ECMA, I always use EMCA, okay? Yeah. The standard is called ECMA script, okay? So that's why we call it ES. ES squared, ES6, ES456, okay? Yeah, the standard, okay? But people don't like the name ES6 now, they call it ES2115, okay? So that, that was the. the is 2115? I remember it should be 2115, huh? ES2015, sorry, 2015, okay? 
we call it using the name and uh, Bellbell is a uh, it's an engine to compile the new type of languages into something that old browser can run. Okay, so this is a standard. Don't worry about the standard. I will, I will start with uh, something unrelated to any standard, just as basics. Okay, so that's why I call it as a trademark. Don't treat it uh, very seriously about Java and JavaScript. And JavaScript, what is the paradigm? Okay, so you have learned a few x0, very x0 talk about paradigm, right? Uh, imperative languages, all, all functional language. What can you say about JavaScript? How many of you think that it's all? Okay, okay, very good. So I will define, okay, I will carefully damage your brain that using a constructor to make it not into a constructor. Okay, JavaScript have no constructor. Who think that it is an imperative languages? It seems to be quite imperative, okay? But they have something like OO thing, okay? So actually, the JavaScript is not OO language. Its name is called a uh, base, you can omit it. It's called prototype languages. Prototype, okay? So uh, once one of us one the time, okay? Um, two weeks ago, okay, there is a girl, okay? Yeah. Ask me, ask me what is total time, okay? I need more than, uh, that, that girl is supposed to be a smart girl, okay? I need more than 30 minutes in order to explain what is total time, okay? So I hope that I will be able to do the same thing within 45 minutes to talk about what is total time, okay? Uh, but, not, but not today, okay? Later. Yeah, I will explain what is prototype. Uh, JavaScript is a prototype language. So when you download some of the codes, like in the GitHub, you will find there is a keyword called prototype. How many of you have seen this? Only, only, a, only a few. Uh, you, you two also have able to. Yeah. So what is a uh, when you use prototype? You just thought, right? Before the thought, what is that guy? Object. Integer. String, function, function, yeah. Prototype is the function. Because JavaScript treat function so seriously as a even, even call it the first class citizen. Okay, so first class citizen means that you can use function as an input, that is uh, to, to another function. You can pass function around, Okay, and you can also do all the functional language stuff inside JavaScript. Okay, so all the things like the coaster, uh, I I don't have the capability to teach. Okay, but uh, I can tell you the keywords like the higher order functional languages, or higher function, higher order function programming, I should say. Okay, so you can look up some books or even ask our professor Jimmy Lee today. He will be very happy that oh, you know what is higher order good. Okay, then he will keep saying and you you don't have to have the capability to understand what he was talking about. Okay? So higher order means uh, you operate over functions. You operate over functions. Not just treat all functions as an input, but operate. You need a function plus a function, a uh, function modifier, a function, yeah, so on and so forth. Very horrible. Okay. So that's why their primitive data type is function, integer, object. Uh, those objects is not really an object, okay? If you're talking about object, there should be some uh, Python variable, puppet variable, right? In JavaScript, all puppet, and I should say it's not a puppet. They don't call it fields, they don't call it methods, they don't call it variables, they just call it properties. Okay, you can add properties, you can delete the property, you can create two objects using the same so called constructor and modify both so-called properties in different things, okay? And someone even called it, ah, oh, it's a polymorphism. Oh, sorry, it's not polymorphism. It's prototype. Okay, uh, well, we are walking away from a CGI anymore, okay? You will see less and less, okay? I will walk away, and Man Dong, our tutor match, Man Dong, okay? Uh, he will talk about the server side, so that you will transform, okay? Your, uh, your program, not assignment one, assignment one is still using Python. And assignment two, we will transform into Node.js backend, front end, 
whatever, okay, you can use whatever things for front end. Back end, Node.js platform, no longer Docker platform will be Heroku. I'm gonna, you have used Heroku before? AWS, you, you guys are so high, so so powerful. Okay, no one heard of it. Come on, you should have. Yeah. Where did you use it? I didn't use it. You you didn't use it? Oh come on. No one heard of it. Am I going to the wrong class? Yeah. Uh, uh, the the sun is not about us. Okay. Let let me sign in. Oh, yeah. What is my password? I forgot. <laughs> I forgot. Uh, don't worry, don't worry. No, 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 no. Of course not. Are you all looking at no? I'm can you take cut that? Okay, yeah, I will cut that out. Ah, I see. I see, I see, I see. Okay, okay, okay. Eh, I forgot. Why? I I I forgot the combination. I don't don't disturb me, okay? Uh, okay. Wait for a moment. Uh, email address. Okay, until I can successfully log in. Ah yeah, I cannot log in. How come? <laughs> ah, okay, okay, okay. Why? Oh, okay, good, 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 good. Okay. So uh, yeah, it just uh, a web service. Okay. So allows you to bundle with different kinds of database. Okay. Because uh, I first bundle with uh, a MongoDB from MongoLab. Okay. A favorite trail is a logging logging facility. Okay. Uh, and uh, all the Modules that you need is just clap, okay? Then it will install inside your container. The backend is Docker, okay? So what you are doing is you write, write your own code, okay, in your laptop, and they have their own tool chain. You can use their tool chain to try deploy, and they all use Git, okay? So you can uh, use a Git push and then push to this environment, then the uh, source code just run, okay? So we are doing this. So that's why I said we were walking away from this kind of a CGI thing. Okay, so the this is a partial roadmap. Okay, I I sorry I should add back the complete roadmap. The roadmap first uh, is something easy. Okay, we will try to understand the basic stuff. We are going very fast. <coughs> the events. Okay, how to modify the Windows stuff. Okay, uh, CSS. I don't talk about it. I'm very bad at CSS. I always forget the names. Okay, uh, the DOM model. And we will have a preview on what we are going to do. Okay, so let's take a look what Facebook is doing. Okay, uh, who who have a laptop now? Ah, so you have a laptop. Okay, uh, when you when when I said ready, send me a message. Okay, yeah, on Facebook. Okay. So what he is sending me should be in in this kind of a thing. Let me see. Okay, so time to fire. Okay, uh, it's okay. Okay, fire. Okay. So it should be should be something like this. Uh, response no. Ah, see, it sent a for loop. See a for loop to me. No. Ah, this is it. You timestamp. Wow. Wow. Should I, wow. Should I something more specific so that you uh, I cannot feel I cannot find the content. Maybe a uh, where is it? Preview. Payload. Action. Wow. So many stuff. I don't know which one. I I I I'm afraid that when I open it it's a very <laughs> history. Oh history. Oh yeah, it's September. September. Yeah. Wow. Okay. So so we, we don't need to go continue now. Okay. So actually, what you have seen that uh, Facebook 
and my browser, okay, how they talk to each other, they are just, yeah, you can see very horrible, they send for loop, okay? Send for loop to me or as piece of code to me, okay? So this is one way, okay, to encapsulate everything in the loop, okay, so that, uh, well, there are many good, uh, bad things, okay? The good things about it is uh, the variable scoping, you can uh, keep it inside the local scope, okay? Uh, so and so forth, and also it's easy, okay? And there is a logic inside the data that you send in, and other stuff will be uh, all you ever heard is like uh, using ages, sending JSON, okay? So in this course, we will go through both two ways, okay? So let's take a look at our preview. So a preview is like this. Uh, you see the Facebook, what is done is uh, doing ages, okay? So I I know that maybe you know ages, okay, but uh, yeah, the name is like this, okay. Uh, ages is A, 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 X, okay, so X is XML, uh, now it's no longer XML anymore, okay. Uh, so that's why I don't know why there are some, some companies still advertise that they are very good at XML, okay. So just like I can tell people that I'm very good at TXT file, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Just like that, yeah, okay. So, uh, well, this is the this the uh, design, and the design is that we allow the browser to just like a normal networking program send a request to a web service. Web service is a web server. Now what I what I do with a Joe is uh, he send me something, and Facebook push me a piece of code. Okay, sometimes it's not pushing me a piece of code. Sometimes it's pushing me an object. Okay, so it's both works, okay? And what we are going to do is uh, just like an API server, uh, in our assignment to our tutor will tell you what is the API is. The API is called the RESTful API. It's very easy to write when you are using uh, Node.js, okay? So you will do something like uh, what we call a remote procedure call. You have the, yeah, in terms of C, the prototype of your function is in the browser, the implementation, the code is in the server, you just call it, supply the arguments, uh, but it's quite limited if it's talking about the web servers. What is limited, they just support mostly for operations, the read, uh, the delete, the update, uh, what else? We C U R uh, C create R R U D uh, update and uh, delete. Okay, <laughs> yeah, this, the name is C R U D. Okay, so it's four operations, mostly these four operations. Okay, uh, of course you can create a customized API like this. Okay, maybe you want to in implement your own uh, O off. O off. Okay, sorry. O off. O off. Okay. Maybe you want to implement your own uh, open authentication protocol, okay? And using your customized API servers, go ahead, okay? Uh, no bonus path, okay? Yeah, okay, you, you do your own stuff. It's none of our business, okay? So uh, the way to implement it is just uh, ask this browser to send a request and come back. Okay. So this asynchronous, asynchronous means that uh, in terms of browser, synchronous means I send a request and I will wait until that request come back, and during that time, the entire browser is frozen. Okay? Asynchronous means that uh, you fire the request out, and you can still do other things. And while it's come back, you will call a callback function to serve you. Okay? Uh, then, yeah, I skip it. Okay, so I want to go ahead and, and let you to see some demonstration. The demonstration, I go forward to Take a look at this, okay? So what is it? This demonstration, I this screen capture is nicer than the current time. So let's take a look at this link. So do you know what this link is? Do you know what this link is? Can you guess from its URL? Yeah, of course at Google Google service. Yeah. Autocomplete. It's an autocomplete service. So let's take a look. What is that? Um, oh, sorry, I should download it. Okay. Click. 
uh, save a desktop. Okay, now I save it. Uh, where is my desktop? Open it. Do you know what it is? So in. Okay. Uh, you don't know what it is. Okay. So I add indentation now. Ah. Still don't know what it is? Don't know? Okay. Uh, okay. Yeah, it's a test editor. Don't ask for auto indent. Okay, so uh, we have one guy, two guys, three guys, and continue a list of things there. Okay, and it is just a array. Okay, so let's take a look what happened if I type AJAX in browser with Google. Then you will understand what I mean. A J A X. Okay, so let's take a look at we have a uh, Ages JQA, Ages Tutorial, Ages URL, Ages Post. Now, someone help me to remember those names. Okay, I'm very bad at bad at this. Okay, so Ages JQA, Ages FC. Ages post. They are actually firing the thing, okay? And when it's fired the thing, it comes with an array, right? The array is encapsulate the result in a list, okay? But before you understand that there is an array, there is something more outside. Later on, I will explain this, okay? Uh, if you're impatient, you can uh, Google the keyword. It's called JSON. J, J, not JSON. Okay, some. Uh, for, I don't know why the uh, Western foreigner not call it JSON. Okay, I call it JSON. JSON P. Okay. So if you want to know what this is, okay, you can Google for yourself. Okay, this JSON P. We will spend half an hour down down the road in order to explain how to uh, set up the JSON P. Mechanism, okay. So now ignore this, ignore this, okay. That is purely an array that is being sent. You ask for something using the auto complete API, and auto complete API come back with something more, which is an array with the list. Uh, I, I I cannot decode it. I don't know why there is a bunch of Julian code in between, but you can see this ages. FC, Ages, QE, Ages, Post, blah, 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 okay? Uh, of course, uh, you can make use of this API like this. Uh, nope, where's my link? Okay. You can use this API by yourself. Let's say the, uh, eh? why it's gone? Come on. Okay, I have to do a copy, sorry. Copy, okay. So let's say the I Q is something. Yeah, I look at I look at someone's face here. Hmm. So what will happen? Okay. I don't know what will happen. Let's see. I just type Matthew, okay. So Matthew and then Matthew, well Matthew Perry, where are you? Okay. I don't know all the Matthews, okay? I only know this one Matthew Wong. Hello. Okay. So uh, yeah, so you can make use of the API like this, and the API is just keep firing, so you can trace. Okay, you can trace is firing, like here. Whenever you want to do this a uh, remote, not remote. Sorry, I uh, want to do this a uh, reverse engineering. Okay, so you have to open the uh, uh, development tools. Focus as XHR. XHR is a uh, Ages call, so I put it down here and try to minimize it. Ah yeah, wait, my 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 dog keep popping up. Okay, good. Okay, okay. So you should be able to see better. Now 
I type uh, A, you see one get fire out. Okay. okay. A, J, A, X. Whenever you type one key, it just fire out uh, for for thing and then come back. Press one again, fire it, and come back. Okay. So this is design. Okay. And the design is that uh, we now don't rely on. I I can go back now. Okay. So go back to the example. Okay. So we don't rely on the server generate everything for me. Okay. Let's say that you send an HTTP request that guy generates a bunch of things. Now we don't need it. Okay. We just have all the code, all the HTML construct ready inside our browser. Whenever you need something, ask the server to give me that data, and that is enough. Okay. So this design is all around. You can see Google is using. Uh, you can see Facebook is using. Even our course homepage. Okay. Uh, sorry, it's film five zero. Uh, our course homepage also use this. Okay, how I design this course homepage? Uh, I set up everything here uh, so that you can see the film five zero homepage is exactly the same as four four zero homepage. Then I fire ages call to get all the film five zero data or four four zero data in here and render. Okay, so this is how how I build my my course homepage systems. Okay, so they 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 all look the same. And what I did is just uh, the construct are all the same, doing ages firing and constructing the sites. Okay, so this is the thing that you are going to do in assignment two. Okay, so assignment two, if you are, uh, yeah, I can skip it. Okay, so if you want to know what is assignment two, assignment two is not doing any login things, not doing. Uh, the uh, photo phase. We have implemented YouTube Remote. Okay, if you have seen last year, last year is also YouTube Remote. Now we ask you to do YouTube Remote. It's personally for you. You log in and then you can keep your playlist. Okay, and the YouTube Remote can control the main screen so that uh, yeah, you can play whatever movie you like. Okay. So this is the old stuff. Now this is the new stuff. We load everything called a CGI or Node.js program. Give me parcel data and feed it back to the page and render. Okay. So yeah. Uh, also, uh, JavaScript has some brain damaging stuff. Okay. Before we take a break, let's understand what the brain damaging stuff. And I, in this course, I will avoid the brain damaging stuff. Is all come from Microsoft. Okay. The language core, a uh, language has certain part. We have the core stuff. Core stuff means that uh, the the so-called OO, the prototype, uh, the integer, uh, objects, so and so forth. They are all called the core stuff. Some are the client stuff. Client stuff are the windows control, uh, events control, something like that. And Microsoft has own standard for the client. Okay own way is called it. So uh, that's why people use jQuery. jQuery shield you from this uh, trouble. In our course, none of your project or assignment will be demonstrated over uh, IE browser. Even Microsoft Edge. Okay? I, I don't know how to cut in Edge that guy is, okay? but I don't care. Okay? You don't need any Microsoft browser to demonstrate your project, your assignment. Okay? So this uh, to avoid brain damaging stuff here. Okay, so this is the core, this is the client, and we will start with the core, and yeah, don't crash, okay? Yeah, this is a joke. So the, the course is talking about very fast, uh, some something that you didn't expect, okay? Something you didn't expect. And now we have a break. During the break, I will... So uh, first of all, uh, if you want to practice JavaScript, there are some online console for you to run, like uh, JS Fiddle. Okay, uh, this is a web console that you can use to uh, write a uh, for writing a JavaScript. Let's say that I uh, write here alert, uh, 
Windows, Windows, Window Dog Alert, uh, Hi, okay, and then uh, run it. Where is the run button? Okay, so you can you can try okay here, or uh, you install Node.js in your computer. Okay, uh, no matter Windows, Linux, uh, Mac, you can all install Node.js. Okay, I I heard that uh, the Windows Node.js is quite good. I heard that because it's a it's a tailor-made shell. Okay, I don't know how good it is. Okay, I never use Windows. Okay, uh, but if you are including it into a, a web page, okay, so there are several options. Uh, you can include it in, as an inline, okay, as an inline program that if using script is enough, okay. Nowadays, you won't change the language, okay. Uh, I during my time, we still have to specify script and the language even which kind of language because in my time. Uh, Microsoft want to share the market and they create a script called VB script. Okay, so I, I, I don't know whether is there any places still using it, okay? So nowadays you script is, is already understood that it's a JavaScript. Okay. Uh, you can include it as a file, okay? Uh, later on we will keep on using this again again and again, including more libraries to your program. Uh, or you Create a link, okay, and this is a JavaScript protocol, okay. Then you can launch something, okay. And by the way, this actually gives you certain variety in create something we call bookmarklets, okay. I don't know whether you have seen this before. I should have some bookmarklets here, okay. I find it, I find it, <coughs> edit, okay. So this is a Bookmark lets okay. Bookmark lets there is a script and it's make use of this feature that when you write JavaScript, you can uh, embed JavaScript content as well as all the things inside uh, the href hyperlink reference field. Okay, so we just abuse this and create. Let's say you create something here. I don't know what what is this because I download from Google. Okay, this is a bookmark lets. Uh, to add a bookmark to the Google Bookmark. <coughs> How many of you are still using Google Bookmark? No one. Okay. I I, I also know. Okay. <laughs> I just keep it here. So you can write a script here, and and when you click, what will happen? Uh, let's say you click it, then it will pop up something. Ask me for yeah, because it's Google service. Okay. I I don't I don't continue. Okay. So it's just launch something. Uh, wow. You can see the code now. Wow, it's something like that. Okay, so uh, this bookmark lets. Okay, so uh, yeah, I can skip it. And some people will also uh, write script in this way. If you see people write script in this way, that means that he is older than me. Okay, so why is older than me? Uh, it's because of a, a supported old web engine. Okay, so some old, old web engine uh, will mislead that oh uh, what a day okay I don't know what is script okay then it will drive the rendering all wrong okay so you keep a comment for HTML okay so that old browser can skip it okay so that means that if you see this that's very old code okay uh, JavaScript has certain uh, problem okay that in C you will aware of it okay let's take a look at this program what can you say about this program? Just treat it as C. Just say as C. Uh, uh, you don't need to know what it is. Okay, this is a random. Okay, and the random call. I just do something. Put a random number inside, and when the input is still zero, I do something. On zero, I do another thing. Okay, in C, if this function is written in C, what should you say about this? Hmm? Yeah, return type. Return type is a problem, right? But how about JavaScript? JavaScript don't have return type actually. It, is, uh, <laughs> it allows you to write something like this. Okay? You can say that a function, uh, sometimes it don't return anything, sometimes it returns something. It's perfectly fine. Okay? So for for this kind of a function implementation, although it's allowed, some browser want to give you warning, except prompt. Prompt, prompt, prompt I find. Okay? 
a lot and cannot find a way to block it, okay? I can only find a way for Firefox, okay? If you're using Firefox, oh, you are using Firefox, then is that? You are using Firefox? Sometimes. Yeah, sometimes. Uh, you are also using Firefox, okay? So you can uh, open the uh, JavaScript options and turn it on, okay? So that uh, so that it will be uh, saying that oh this two this two uh, type doesn't agree, okay. Uh, also try cache is a really save your day, okay. Uh, I, I I love to encapsulate everything with try cache. If if I download the code from let's say my my let's say my my staff, okay, I have a staff who's working with me, okay. He give me something, okay. Actually he. It gets some box, okay. I I want to show it, okay. So that I will do a try cache, okay. So this script has a problem, right? What is the problem? You didn't initialize any variables, right? Then you will generate errors. So you can try that and catch the error without causing the entire JavaScript engine to stop, okay? So uh, variable variable is dynamic type type, so you can just call it bar and then use any type you want, okay? And let's do a demo here. We don't go through one by one. I, I what, 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 I, oh, I, I start, okay. I, I'm so afraid I didn't start it. So uh, let's go to my example page. Uh, here. Okay, so there is a example, so you can refer to this link, okay? So this is about some of the properties that you just have seen in the previous video, okay? So the previous video already tell you something about the undefined, okay? So what is the undefined? First of all, uh, do you know that there is two type of uh, thing? What is undefined? Okay, one is there, reference error, the thing is not defined. Make sure that you, you can separate these two concepts. Undefined is a variable without any values, and the value is quite defined. Okay, and when the variable is not defined, then you will generate errors. Yeah, so bring them again, huh? Yeah, that, that guy's already, <laughs> how come, okay? Yeah, so that, what is the outcome here? The outcome here, I just uh, say that, oh, I variable, okay? I variable, I created, but uh, of course, uh, I'm using enter pattern, okay? Uh, doing the document dot rights is enter pattern, uh, but for demonstration, I put it there, okay, for, for myself, okay? Uh, later on, I will tell you how to avoid not using this uh, in order to write the content out, okay? And, but the enter pattern means, they are best practice for writing JavaScript. And any pattern means that this is basically not a good practice. So document dot write should be removed from all your script, okay? But for demonstration, I put it here. So the type of I, okay? And the I itself both give what? Give undefined, okay? So, my right here is set undefined. Okay, perfectly fine because I didn't carry any values and I didn't initialize this to whatever type. So it's set undefined and the i itself is also undefined. Good. But and other stuff is the j. The j doesn't exist. So make sure that you classify these two errors. Okay. Of, of course, undefined is not an error. It's a way to represent a value. Just like now in C. Okay. Then what's next? Next is even something more horrible. Okay. What is now? What is now? Okay. So I have a program called Typing. Okay. So first case. What is the first case that I want to play with? Okay. Again, it's an I. So we have play with that. It's undefined. Second case. Now. Okay. So in C, what is now? A U L L. Zero. Right. In C, now is a Divine value is zero. In JavaScript, what is now? Second line. What is now? 
Yeah. And this is the output from a second of a second line. It is an object. Now it's an object. Okay? So yeah, so we have two ways to represent something which is empty. If it's talking about object, we will use now. If you're not talking about object like an integer or something like uh, other things, you will use a mind. Okay? So it's uh, not the hardest part, okay? Uh, <laughs> Then we go to that uh, source group web, something like that. Uh, we have an i equal to now, and then now plus equal to <laughs> two point two. Okay. Yeah. What is that? <laughs> yeah. The now is an object. Object plus two point two is a string. <laughs> It's a string. I don't know why. Don't ask me, okay? <laughs> hmm? Ah, oh, 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 sorry, a number. Hey, number. Oh, this, then I know, okay? Yeah, string, then I don't know, okay? Number. Okay? Then here, I continue extend it. Now make it become a string. Number plus a string is a string. Next, the famous anonymous function, okay? So this is called anonymous function or function literal. Okay, literal means a constant. Okay, so you can define a function without a name. You used to say that a function with a function name and then bracket parameter list. Now this time is a function without a name, parameter list. Uh, so happen to be empty, you can have more. Okay, and why in this way? And make i become type function okay and what is more you can even do this to call it okay so you can do the following uh, using a JS fiddle uh, you can do is y x equal to your function function okay uh, put a I here okay and then you console.log that i, okay? Then you can say x and then hi, hi, okay? Then run it, then you will write a log, okay? But console.log, you cannot see anything. So I change it to alert. Run it, then you will see hi, hi here, okay? So this is a very typical example in using JavaScript. Now, they are all, all tried. Now, there is a really important aspect that you may not understand or may never heard of. We call it variable hosting. It's a problem, not a feature. Okay? It's a, uh, I should say that uh, JavaScript treated as a feature. I consider it as a problem. <coughs> and not a bug. You can complete, complete uh, running this program. Okay? So, what this program is doing? Can you? Spend one minute and take a look. The highlight point are the point that I want to know what should be the value that get print. Or you can type it using a JS video to print it and try. Okay. Uh, yeah. It's totally stupid, huh? The number one stupid thing is the red guy, the red guy should fail. I think no one would disagree with me, right? The red guy should fail. How about the green guy? What do you think? The green guy. The green guy, I have a K variable or not before I execute this. No. So you will say that it is not an undefined value but a variable not defined, right? How about the pink guy? Pink guy in C++, in Java, not C, okay, C is another story, yeah? uh, C++, Java, what should you say about the pink guy of a K variable? It should be wrong, right? Java say that uh, whenever you create a Looping variable is on for loop is only survive within the scope of the function uh, loop body, right? 
Now I actually go to code. Does this sound great? Yeah, the, the code is the same, okay? As uh, I. I zoom in, okay? So the S1, S2 are just a, the padding, okay? I do the following, even if, if true, okay? What should you do, okay? Um, the first line, J. Uh oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. I, I pressed the wrong button, okay? J appear. Good, because J is defined. How about a K? K, you didn't define it, but it exists. And K ring value undefined. It's not an exception saying that you didn't define it. Next, if you think that here you can access the K, why not here? Okay, so inside the loop, you see all the k. Here, when k go out of the loop, value is 10. So here, you see the value is 10. Colorful. Colorful. How about i? The i variable is still here, nothing. Okay, so still zero. The j is still cool. Okay, but even though the j, I define it inside the if true block, <laughs> I can still touch that and get its result equal to zero. What happened? What happened? And down there, there is something that we understand, okay? What is that something we understand is when I call the function, there is no i variable before I call it. And after I call it, it shouldn't be any i variable because the i variable is inside the function. <laughs> Yeah, that's why JavaScript is just mind falling and not mind falling. It's brain damaging, okay? Totally brain damaging, okay? So, how can we explain this feature, okay? It has a name called variable hosting. It means that it's only happening inside function, first of all. It's not executing in global scope. Global scope don't have any this problem. When you execute something inside a function, you can Imagine the case is like this. JavaScript will first process the function and understand that what are the variables that will be used to serve this function and create them. Okay? And create them. Once you understand the function is syntactically correct and know that how many function how many variables there, okay? Then what's next? Next, if there is no initialization value, set undefined there. Okay? Once you execute down to that, let's say the J, the I, I pass the initialization for I, then I eventually print a red oh, sorry, J, okay? J, then I print a red of J, there's no problem. Okay? So JavaScript function is like this. And this creates tons of bugs. Okay? Ex especially you love to use the variable the I, the J, the K, uh, keep on using it again, again, and again, okay? Uh, then you will introduce unnecessary bug, okay? So, you can try. It's always work if you implement that thing inside a function, okay? Anything you want me to try? Or you try by yourself, okay? Variable hosting. Very stupid, huh? Uh, Others are uh, some uh, objects type are uh, the I'm not sorry, objects, I mean uh, the primitive type, the number, the boolean, uh, the object. Okay, so talking about object, I want to do the following test together with you, to to see how deep you understand JavaScript. Okay, so if you find that this this functions or this demonstration are awful, that's good. You are still a normal human being. Okay. First, demonstration. Okay, <laughs> I also think it's very awful. It's just uh, treating you guys. Okay, so let's 
Let's say that I create an object called coordinates. I want to create an object called coordinates, and oh, how can I? How can I? Oh, okay, good. Coordinates. Okay. So every JavaScript box will tell you to do the following way. If you want to create an object called coordinates, you have to create a constructor for it. Oh. Sorry, uh, you know I'm teaching teaching year one, okay? okay sorry. <laughs> yeah. Whack. Okay. Then you will do this, right? Just like Java. This means your object, uh, internal variable or instance variable, whatever name you want to call, okay? Then you will do the following var object obj, I call it obj, new coordinates. Uh, one, two, let's say. Okay? So for a good object, we have to implement uh, something for printing. Okay? So I create a printing function equal to. Uh, uh, console.log no alert maybe alert okay uh, print x and then y not good like this no should be have a this huh? this this okay so that I can do this any problem should be no problem, right? <laughs> Run. One, two. Beautiful. Now, what is not beautiful is what is this? JavaScript both say that this is the way to create an object. And this are the way to create instance variable as well as instance methods. Then what is the last line? Okay, so let's try, huh? First I have to open the console so that you see where there is a JavaScript error. Okay, so when there is a JavaScript error you will see those one, two, three error pops up, right? Okay, so JavaScript console ready. This feels to be okay, yeah? Run! Go! One, two. One, two is okay because one, two was the previous stuff. Now I execute the new stuff. Any error? No. No, but but what's that? What is that? Okay, so let's do this. How about I do this? Alert this to verify what I have just created or just done. Okay, so let's do it, huh? So you will expect that once I call the constructor, I will have one alert. Then I have a second alert from the printing. The third alert when I call the constructor alone. Okay, let's go. First is an object. That is the object that I just create. No problem. No problem. Second should be the printing. No problem. What is the third one? Window. It's window. <laughs> yeah. So what does that mean, huh? 
Okay, so let me clear a concept. There is no constructor in JavaScript. Don't call it constructor. You just rely on that function, and that function is a blueprint. Blueprint, okay? So what is the meaning of blueprint? The blueprint containing the this, that means that I will create an object based on this blueprint. This blueprint say that I have this dot x, then later on I create an object, will have a field called x. That's it. They are the blueprints. So they are just a function. You cannot say anything about it. Just a function. You cannot say this is a constructor. The new keyword means follow this blueprint. That's all. So you can have anything inside. It just don't stop you from creating that object. And what's next is how about you just call it? When you call it inside a browser, the environment that you are running is inside the window of the browser. The this is pointing to the window of the browser. So that's why. That's why. Okay? So this is about the object, how horrible it is. Okay? Yeah. How many of you still get lost? Okay? If you still get lost, okay, uh, welcome to type this program again, again, and again to create some variations, okay? By the way, I will continue this thing. Now, I have just called this function, okay? I have just called this function. What this function is doing? This function is having the this dot x equal to x. So what is this dot x? It means if that property called x doesn't exist in that object, I give it a new properties. Now, after I execute this function in the late last line, why I don't get any error from a this stop x, this stop y, this stop printhead? Why? Because Now execute it. First line, no problem. First line is the uh, constructor alert. Second line is the printing from the object. One, two. Third line is the window. Now the fourth line is the new one. One, two. Well, one two is sucks. Okay, let let me change it into into more wall. Okay, uh, we move that alert. The alert is so so fucking, and uh, I comment this print name. Run. Yeah. So what is this? This is context sensitive. Depends on the context. You are executing the thing, treat it as a blueprint, then the this is talking about the object that you're going to create. If you are just, just like what I've done, I write it as a simple function and call it. The this is always referred to Windows, and you can modify window by adding a new field. And that is how jQuery gives you the dollar sign if you have used jQuery. jQuery is actually adding the new field onto the window. Okay, so if you don't believe in me, you can try. Uh, let's say I clean, clean up the JS Fiddle now. Okay, clean up JS Fiddle, and yeah, how can I, how can I clean up the way? I want to create a new stuff with the jQuery capability. No, okay. Forget about it. Let's use my cost home page. Okay? So my cost home page has jQuery. So what I'm going to do, I use inspect element. And here, type something. Window dot dollar. Yeah. The dollar 
when you include the JQE uh, source file, uh, people tell you how to include it, right? Once you include it, it's actually adding the dollar object in as a property of window. And this is how people load the library into your browser. Okay, uh, if you have used other libraries like uh, underscore, okay, so there will be have a window dot underscore, uh, the quick queue library also like this. Okay, so this is something that uh well to me is uh is one one. Okay, it's a uh, very very basic stuff. Okay, but when you learn JavaScript by yourself, okay, you read some books without clear explanation, then you will get lost. Okay, and what's next week is doing the next week I will finish the remaining part and then I will extend the previous example. Oh, yeah, I delete the example. Oh, yeah, sorry. Okay, uh, that means the object. Okay, the object, uh, the coordinates. Okay, I will continue to explain what is this coordinates dot prototype. Whenever you define a function, let's say the uh, function coordinates uh, x y okay let's say it's empty actually you can assess dot prototype so what is that what is that uh, means uh, I alert okay print it out what is that is that access or is it undefined like what what happened it's undefined so in okay no it's there a function has a property called prototype and what is prototype okay so I will explain it as well because whenever you assess some of the open source project okay they love to use prototype a lot okay because this prototype is a very I mean not very but a best practice in modifying the blueprint okay how to establish a good blueprint by using the prototype property Okay, it just spent 20 minutes more. Okay, after I finish this part. Okay, cool. So uh, it's time for me to stop, or we we cannot stop. Okay, I'll, I'll continue and continue and don't stop.